hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be going through my top five foundations these are all pretty affordable which is very exciting i'm not super into high-end foundations they are just becoming way too expensive and you all know i've been really exploring some drugstore foundations so i have come up with my current top five we have two oldies two new guys and then one i haven't really talked about that much on this channel so let's dive in okay let's start with the oldies and this is what i'm wearing on my face right now this is the milani conceal and perfect foundation i have talked about this so many times on my channel for like three years it is one of my all-time favorite foundations it is so good they have expanded their shade range which is very exciting drugstore brands now are starting to really expand their lines which is fabulous and this is one of them i hope they keep expanding because i feel like there are some areas that they could still fill in but they are trying which is good so this guy is light beige 03 is what i'm wearing right now i'm freshly tanned i tanned last night so my skin is combination and normal so i am drier on the outside oilier on the inside but my skin overall is normal where i'm not super super dry on the outside i'm not super super oily in the middle it's kind of just a normal amount but still a little bit noticeable so this foundation is great for that it does have some blurring properties to it i am not wearing any blurring products on my skin right now you can see some of my acne scarring right here but that also kind of has to do with highlighter that i'm wearing it's super super glowy but i am getting kind of like that blurring effect right here and right here I really like this it really doesn't sink into the pores that much that's an issue for me obviously and my smile lines don't tend to be an issue with this I will still have to powder throughout the day but I pretty much do with all of my foundations and then this foundation right here as you can see has been very loved this one is a new one I have repurchased this many times but this is the first one I've had and it is down to here when I look inside the bottle. So need a new one. I have one in a different color as well. But this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Forgot to say, this Milani, I want to say, is a medium coverage. That is more of my preference. This, I want to say, is the medium to full coverage. You start off with medium, and you can definitely build up to a full coverage. Has a very similar finish to the Milani perfect for my normal combination skin doesn't sink into my pores i don't really have issues with my smile lines or other lines that i have on my face both of these kind of have like a satin to just normal finish and i really like them they are tried and trues and that nyx can't stop won't stop is medium olive which i could wear a couple days after I freshly tan that's medium olive and the darker one I have that I could wear right now is natural the one that I haven't really talked about that much is this guy right here mainly because they're hard to find in store usually you would just have to buy it online I was lucky enough to pick this up in store in London this is the ex1 Invisaware liquid foundation this is again pretty similar to the two that I just showed you when it comes to finish how it wears and what it does to my skin it is a pump as well all of these are but this one i don't know it's just special to me i like the way it looks on my skin very comparable to the other two that i just showed you like i said i do have to powder a little bit more with this one i want to say it does add a little tiny bit of moisturization to my skin if i am not mistaken this is the color 4.0 which i think i don't i could get away with it right now i really need to bronze but after a couple of days from tanning i can definitely wear this i would say this is more light medium to medium coverage i don't think this has like a full full coverage i just like it's hard to explain i just like how it sits on my skin okay two new guys right here i did very recent reviews on these. The first one is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is my more dewier foundation out of all of these. Because we are going into the dry months, like when it's getting really cold, and I do have drier 
areas on the perimeter. I do like to dabble in these dewier foundations. I just really, really have to powder the center, but that's okay. Especially recently, I have been experiencing a little bit more dryness than normal, so I've been diving into these. And that also doesn't change how I feel about these ones that I've already shown you. Those still work perfect for me. I just can't wear matte foundations anymore. So I've kind of gotten rid of all of that. So I'm really towards like the normal satin finishes and more dewy finishes. Matte foundations just look so horrid on me now. Oh my God, so bad. But anyways, I really like this. I'm going to link my review video right up here for you guys so you can get the whole gist. You can see me try it on for the first time and wear it and give you my first impressions. But I do like this and I think it sits nicely on my skin. It is more of a light medium to medium coverage. It does give you that more like skin-like appearance and some moisture as well really great especially for the price it's so cheap it's ridiculous and then this guy which is my most recently reviewed foundation which you know you would normally be like this shouldn't be in here but I've really really enjoyed this guy every single time since I reviewed this that I have put makeup on like a full face I've been wearing this except for today because I just wanted to play with something else. But I like this because it is more of that light medium coverage. I wanna say it's strictly light medium. I love the finish of it. It looked so much like skin. Like it didn't look like I was wearing foundation. Like if I didn't have powders, bronzers, blushes, highlighter, all of that, this really is skin-like. It's so beautiful. It just, oh, so, gorgeous and that's something that I found is somewhat unique when it comes to foundations something that's really giving you that skin like appearance all of these that I just reviewed over here are great but you will be able to tell that you are wearing makeup this one it's magic it really is okay guys I hope I kept that short and sweet enough for you if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you later guys bye